Hi all folks, this is Max from Hi on Android.com. Here we have an unboxing of Transformer Prime! Ah! Ah, where's my tablet? Where's my tablet? I need to have the best devices in the world, come on! Where is it? Ah! Problem do you have, sir? Ah, uh, I I need to have the I'm having withdrawals. I need the best latest Android tablet. Over the last couple of days, my shaking has been getting worse, and I know it's here. But uh, where's the UPS man? Did he forget? Did he, did he forget? <laughs> hmm. I think you have AOSC, Android Obsessive Compulsive Disorder. The only way you can fix this problem is to put your pinky, bright pinky, to your lips like this when you talk. I have AOCD too. What am I do? I. I can't control my. Uh, I need to transform. Not give it to me. <laughs> Hi, all folks. This is Max from HiOnAndroid.com. So finally, my Transformer Prime is here, and uh, dang. And check it out. I got the UPS box. Um, let's go open that real quick. Throw everything out. All the boxes. Oh, no, not this one. So I've got the Transformer Prime here, folks. Let me hear some crap! Hell yeah! Now this is Transformer Prime! It's gonna change your life in terms of quad core processor 1.3 gigahertz! That's 4 cores, 4 5.2 gigahertz, baby! Comes with the ICS 4.0, baby! Hi, all folks, so I've got the EE Pat Transformer Prime. Let's open it up. Um, I've been waiting for this uh, for like a long time. Um, I was going really crazy yesterday whole day and this whole day it's like almost 5 p.m. Um, they finally shipped my transformer prime which is a good thing huh? otherwise I'm, I would have had to go see my doctor again um, that's not a good thing so this prime comes in a box um, it's made in China um, let's see let's just open it unboxing oh yeah baby having withdrawals yesterday and you know I finally feel better that I have the tablet oh uh, uh, take a look at that it comes with the tablet um, this is the world's fastest tablet right now on the market not those announced at CES that's all like you know all those tablets they introduce at CES you never know if they're gonna actually go to market you know what it is you're basically consumers are basically a guinea pig that's why they call it consumer electronics show um, they want to test out how popular a product will be before they even launch it anyway let's throw this away don't need that anymore. um it comes with a little thing here i don't know what this is for take it out let me just power it on for you real quick uh is that powering up okay it's powering up and while that's powering it comes with a uh, instruction booklet I will probably not read. And it uh, comes with a micro fiber cloth here. Um, this is pretty nice. Give you a close up of the micro fiber. So I can now clean all my screens and, you know, all you um, clean trolls can <laughs> be happy now. Um, let's start. And also, it comes with. Uh, cable. This is the exact same one as I have on my regular transformer, um, the EPAT transformer. And that's about it. There's nothing, nothing else inside it. Yeah, this, that's it. This thing, this thing. Um, so I'm gonna put that aside and let's go take a look at my new transformer um, prime. So let's use that next. Um, let me do this real quick. And my version comes with 3G connection. How cool is that, right? I've got the special version that gives you um, Sprint 3G. And uh, let's change that to Pacific Time where I live. Next, um, skip. And uh, there we go. So it is really thin. Um, it feels just like the um, just like the Galaxy Tab, but um, the metal. I think this is metal around it, or is it plastic? 
uh, but it has a little bit of a more of a solid feeling than the Galaxy Tab. And if I try to like bend it here, it doesn't. I don't know. It, the Galaxy Tab seems a little bit more bendy, um, but this one isn't as bendy. So let's go stuff. Let's go do some stuff on the um, our new tablet here. Our new tablet. Uh, let's go download Quadrant real quick, and you can see how fast it downloads on the speed. Um, Sprint network here. Actually, it's a Wi-Fi. Um, I, I just named it Sprint just for the hell of it. It's kind of funny when I do videos. Huh? Ha ha ha. Um, so I'm gonna download a Quadrant. Uh, this comes with a 10.1 inch, 1280 by 800 resolution screen, super IPS plus display. Um, I am, I'm gonna have to go test it out in sunlight, but it looks pretty good. Very similar to Galaxy Tab 10.1. Very good viewing angles, much better than the former um, EPAD Transformer. And also it comes with 10 finger touch uh, enabled, which is good. It comes with a 1.2 megapixel front camera and an 8 megapixel back camera. Let's do a close up right there and focus. And an LED flash with a 2.4 uh, f2.4 aperture, which means you can take um, better photos at night and lots more. The lower the better. On the left side you will find the volume rockers um, and the micro HDMI. This is micro not mini. And also you'll find an SD card slot which you can extend the existing 32 gigabytes of internal storage on the Transformer Prime to 64 gigabytes by using a 32 gigabyte um, micro SD card. And it also comes with 8 gigabytes of Asus uh, cloud storage which is kind of free, but I never use it. Um, also, it has a microphone there. And on the bottom of the device, you'll find the um, power connector and the dock connector. Um, and also another, what it seems like, a mi another microphone. I think it's a noise canceling. I'm not sure. Um, actually, I'm not sure what these two rubber things are. But it's there. And also on the right side, you'll find your th regular 3.5 millimeter head jack right there. And up at the top, on the left hand side, you'll find the power button. But as you can see, it's super slim. And there's even another something that, no, I think one of these is like a light sensor or something. The EPAT Transformer comes with uh, one gig of memory. That's plenty to do a lot of things. Also Wi-Fi, BGN is supported, Bluetooth 2.1. Comes with a gyroscope, compass, light sensor, and G sensor. Measures 263 by 180 by 8.3 millimeters which makes it the thinnest tablet in the world right now until uh, Toshiba Excite comes out but I don't really like Toshiba Excite because it doesn't have a quad processor quad core processor like this one oh yeah so let's run a quadrant um, and see how well it runs and I believe this is shipping with um, gin, uh, honeycomb but uh the update is rolling out as we speak, so I, I'll go try to update it um, after we do the initial test, and we'll see what's going on. So the I/O seems a little bit slow, but CPU is fast and memory was pretty fast. Um, other things, the battery life lasts about 12 hours with additional keyboard dock. It will get additional six hours for a total of um, around 18 hours with the keyboard dock. But I really don't recommend the keyboard dock. I have it on my uh, regular transformer and uh, I never use it. I just use the tablet. Um, so if you want to use a keyboard just get a uh, you know get an ultrabook or a zen book or whatever so you can type. So I think I am stuck here for 3D graphics. Let me try that again. Um, let's actually go look at something else. So let's go look at settings about tablet, whoops, and it's Android 3.2.1. Um, let me see if I can do a system update real quick, because I think it's unfair for me to do this unboxing review with the older gingerbread since uh, ICS just came out like yesterday. So I'm checking my notifications. It's downloading, so I'll be right back when it's upgraded to ICS. Um, it's going to make it a whole different beast. But I so far really like it. Love it. Oh yeah. So I've got it updated to ICS. Um, let me show you settings. About tablet. So I've got 
full Android 4.0.3 ICS. It only took me five minutes. Let me show you. Um, this thing is really nice. It rotates really quick. The quad core does really help. And uh, let's go do some quadrant test again. Where is quadrant? So I've got ICS. And this is going to be a fun test. And I've also got it at performance mode. Um, this Transformer Prime actually comes with five cores. Four core, well actually it comes with two chips. Um, four core, quad core chip and uh, single core chip. So if you run it on a single core, it's going to use less battery life. Of course, the performance is going to be slower, um, but you'll get the benefit of longer battery life when you're not doing graphic intensive stuff like writing an email or just browsing the web, which is a great feature I've seen on uh, many of Asus laptops and they've finally put it into an Android tablet, which I think is really great. And finally, the um, Quadrant is running. Um, it looks really smooth. I don't know if my camera is picking it up. It should. Um, it seems as just a little glitch here and there, but that could be ICS. Um, Quadrant really isn't made for ICS yet. But we can still compare the Quadrant speeds, like Galaxy Nexus, I think got about 1700 or 1800. Um, so let's use that as uh, our benchmark, which the Galaxy Nexus has a 1.2 gigahertz processor. So I've got 2717. That is actually really good for ICS. And then let's go see. Um, it's got some kind of mice, my, my I don't know what that is. Let's go take a look real quick. Oh, this is basically all your photos. Um, it's loading all my photos. Well, I have like so many photos, so you don't want to look at that. Um, let's go to settings. And uh, um, the cool thing about the Android uh, 4.0 ICS is that you can group apps really easily. For those of you who haven't tried, um, you can just hold down this, put it on next to YouTube. And then you can rename it. Whoop, okay. Rename it um, to something like, you know, Google Apps or or whatever. And uh, I'm actually losing voice because I was trying to make. I was getting so bored and I was making that video in front of this video at the actual review. And <laughs> um, you can actually move it around, um, put everything in here. So it's really easy to organize. Um, the touch screen, I would say it's uh, pretty good. I will have to keep playing with it to figure out um, how good it is. Let's go look at the camera features now. Um, the camera has, again, it has 1.2 megapixel front camera, 8 megapixel back camera. Let's see how quickly it can grab photos. Actually, fairly quick. There's almost no lag, you can see. It's because I'm inside and it's a little bit slower, but almost no lag. And let's go check out the video camera. What happened? Oh, I think it's still trying to focus. Wait, let's go to camera. Um, there we go. That took a little bit, but that's okay. Um, it has a torch. Ooh, it's really bright. Well, well, it is actually brighter than a lot of... Well, that's about the same. It's an LED. And uh, let's look at the white balance. Um, I would probably use this for right now. That's what I should be using on this video, but sorry, it just it doesn't show the um, tablet as good. Um, there's a bunch of stuff like big eyes. Let's look at that. What does that do? Let's go look at uh, small eyes. I don't know what this thing does. Silly effects. Small mouth. Okay, I'm recording. Let's see uh, what kind of settings we have here. Um, oh, you know what? I think I have to put this back to normal. Disco. Okay, I don't know what this thing does. 
Maybe it adds disco. Oh, I see. It adds disco. That's kind of cool. It adds disco to all your black pixels there. Um, that's kind of cool. Um, well, look at that. I've got disco now. This is actually pretty cool. So you get full 1080p. Um, let me see how... Let me hold it really still. And uh, it's pretty good. Pretty stable, not too bad. Um, and also you get a nice little digital button. This, I think, is really cool because you can do it with uh, your one hand. Seems like the camera is kind of acting acting up there. So there's our first close of the day. Um, it's not too big of a deal. And also there's Movie Studio. I've reviewed this on my Galaxy Note, no, Galaxy Nexus. So we can skip that. And let me show you the, uh, the settings here. There's a power saving mode. See, that will probably use the uh, single core. And also there's the uh, balance mode. And uh, it's kind of like on demand, I guess. And that's the performance mode, which is cool. And also there's an IPS plus mode for outdoor, and it's really, really bright. Um, I think it's very, very bright. And let's go compare the size of this new uh, Transformer Prime to the old one real quick. I'll have a full, um, well, I always say I'll have a full thing, but I forget to do it. But This is my new, um, oh, sorry, this is my old transformer and uh, we'll compare the size here um, see it's it's a lot thinner because this the older one has this um, the curve setting so it's it's a lot a lot thinner than that and then let me set it side by side here and put it on top like this I oh, hope I don't scratch it it's actually a little bit wider and a little bit wider and the length is actually a little bit shorter on the new Transformer Prime. Um, otherwise it's very similar in the way everything is structured here. Uh, let's go test out the uh, sound next. Actually, you know what? While we're at it, let's go compare it to my Galaxy Tab, which is my favorite ga uh, Android tablet or tablet device. Um, you can see the thinness. It's supposed to be thinner than Galaxy Tab 10.1, but you're not going to notice it, um, obviously, because it's such a small difference. And the weight, let's do the weight. I would have to say they're just about the same, and I think they're about the same, so I, I don't notice any difference. When I hold it in my hands, um, my tap 10.1 feels a lot smoother because of the smooth finish whereas the um, the transformer prime it's this this kind of edge is kind of really sharp so I can kind of I don't know if oh it should be all right that's one thing I notice right off the bat um, just a softer feeling on the galaxy tap 10.1 uh, versus a little bit a little bit of harder feeling the edges but you can get a case for it. Um, it's not a huge deal. Um, I'm just saying that's how I feel. Let me see. Landscape. And where are the speakers? I don't see the speakers. Well, there's... Oh, God, they did it again. Um, one of my complaints with the original Asus Transformer um, was that the speakers... There's just one speaker. And, and the Galaxy Tab 10.1 actually has stereo speakers. So when you watch a movie, you can actually... Um, Yes, uh, stereo sound versus having a mono speaker. I'm not sure if this is loud enough. It might be okay, but let's go uh, ring up Pandora real quick, my favorite music app, and we'll see how loud it is. So let's play some dubstep. Hell yeah, baby. Dubstep rocks. I'm going to put it on full blast and see how it is. It's either going to be really loud or it's not. Oh, this is very disappointing. <laughs> it's not really loud. It's not that loud. Oh, actually, you know what? This is pretty loud. Maybe I can actually hear some of the bass. 
That's pretty cool. Let me, let me see if we can pick up more bass here. Oh yeah, there's a lot of bass on this one. I don't know if my camera's picking up. Yeah, I like that. Actually, it's not too bad. It's actually pretty good. I can actually hear the thump. That's that's amazing. Um, this is the first tab tablet that I've been able to hear some kind of even slight bass. It seems like they put a bigger speaker in there, uh, which is really nice. Oh yeah, this is one of my favorite songs by the way. I'm actually covering the speaker unit here and it's still really loud. Not too bad. I would say the speakers are sort of like iPad 2. Um, very loud mono speakers. I really wish Aces would listen next time and put the speakers on the left and right. It just makes sense. You know what? What I really would like for Android tablet uh, makers to do is put speakers left, right, and also left, right here. Um, so the speakers change. Oh, you know what? I should patent this idea before Apple steals it. But where's that video? Play that. Good artists copy. Great artists steal. Anyway, I would, I would still have to say the um, speakers kind of uh, are pretty good, but um, a lot better than the original Transformer. Um, but it still lags behind Galaxy 10.1 because you don't get the stereo sound. And it's so nice when you're watching Netflix or listening to music and you're browsing the web and you get that full stereo effect. Um, out of all the tablets, even the iPad isn't doing it. I don't know why. You know, it's to me, that's really important. Um, so, but otherwise, this is a really nice tablet. This is the fastest tablet on the market. Um, so you can't really go wrong with this and uh, that's why I bought it you know. and while we're at it let's see how much um, you can see my I have really good lighting so you can see how much uh, smudge it picked up there and also on the back actually it picked up quite a bit I even wash my hands all the time here but you do get the micro cloth to clean it off and let's see if we can quickly clean it all off so it's a good idea to carry this with you everywhere. And uh, there you go. So you got a pretty clean tablet. And there's also a little arrow here. I don't know what that is for. I think it's for notifications, you see? Or it's just, it's just for, you know, maybe it's just for a connector. I think that would be a good idea to put a little LED like a Galaxy Nexus series um, for the next version. Um, but so far, I'm pretty satisfied, but let's do a video recording and actually play it because I remember on the original Transformer Prime, the, the microphone was so horrible. Okay. <laughs> um, oh no, this is not good. Okay. Oh, you know what? Camera firmware is available. Oh, uh, that's what it is. So it's it, they already have the update. It's camera firmware updating. So that's good. Um, they got it fixed while I was doing my unboxing video. That would have been terrible. Didn't work. So camera firmware is updating, and that should fix the issue that just happened now. Now you know Transformer Prime HD is coming out with the uh, is pretty much exact same thing with um, 1080p HD resolution screen. 1920 by 1080 uh, pixels, which is, you know, which is a lot better than this. But for 10.1 inch screen, I wouldn't actually get uh, 1080p 1920 by um, 1080. If you if you have a really large monitor, if you have a monitor like 21, 22 inches, you'll know what I mean. I have like a 21 inch and a 22 inch. And uh, I don't even have these set at, these are set at like 1600 by 1050. If these were at HD 1920 by um, um, 1080, you you would barely be able to read the letters. So I don't see the point of having that kind of screen. Um, I I think 720p 1280 by 800 resolution is actually perfect for this size tablet. If you're gonna go bigger, I think it makes sense, but it really doesn't make sense. Plus, 
there's no apps that support that, you know, other than you go to the BitTorrent and download a bunch of 1080p movies and play it, or you have a big library of um, 1080p Blu-ray um, on disc, you know. So I would say, you know, this is this is the best as it gets for now. And, uh, you know, by the time Transformer Prime HD comes out, there's going to be something better, and then you're going to have to wait for that. Uh, I would just, you know, if you're going to get the HD one, then get even the next one, you know, Transformer Prime 3 or something. So overall, within, uh, what, that last uh, 30 minutes, the first 30 minutes of having this tablet, I am pretty satisfied. Um, as mentioned, I think this is actually kind of sharp, too sharp. Um... And also, the speaker's pretty good. It's gotten like 10 times louder than the original. But I would still like to have it left and right and also top and bottom here. Um, so when you rotate, it'll, the sound will rotate automatically. I should patent that. And uh, this is really cool that you can go from performance to um, battery saving, balance mode, battery saving. Also, the IPS mode is really cool. Whoa, we need it a little bit higher. And the battery life should be pretty good. All the Android tablets I have, they always, you know, the battery lasts actually too long. I forget when to charge them. While this is updating the camera, um, let's check out some of the apps here. App Backup, App Locker, um, Amazon Kindle app, File Manager, Global. Uh, there's a bunch of MyCloud. I think that's the Asus Cloud Storage. You can store, store 8 gigabytes uh, free on Asus Cloud. MyNet, My Library. Um, bunch of bloatware web storage, um, or is that what it is? Tegra Zone games. Um, but this would be really good for playing um, Tegra games, because a lot of the Tegra games, um, they're made for Tegra processors only. So if you have a Tegra processor, you have a lot of HD games to take advantage of. And also camera, firmware is almost updating. And let's go back to performance. Go back to balance mode. Power saving. So that's very, very instant. I really like that. So camera should be fixed now. And there we go. And let's actually do a video real quick. And we'll just test out the audio because that was the problem with the original Transformer. The microphone really, you know, sucks. 1080p. So let me do a video. Hello there. My name is Max and uh, I'm a crazy Android addict. All right. And then let's play it. Hello there, my name is Max, and uh, I'm a crazy Android addict. Oh, good, they fixed it. So the microphone works really well, the camera works really well. I have further testing, um, and also don't forget to leave comments uh, what you want me to review about this awesome new device with the quad core. This is the world's fastest Android tablet right now that's actually being sold on the market, not at CES. Who cares about CES? Like, you know, 90% of those gadgets announced never make it to the market. Um, anyway, leave questions, um, and uh, I've got some bloopers and some comments about the Transformer Prime. I hope you enjoyed my show, and uh, we'll be back soon. Hi on Android, baby. All right, see y'all later. And subscribe. Hi all folks, this is Max from HighOnAndroid.com, so I've got the unboxing of Transformer Prime! Wait, this is the wrong box. God. Oh. Ah. Ah. What am I going to do now? What am I going to do? I need help! I need my Transformer Prime! Ah.